Don't do like you did a couple weeks ago. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth upon him. With the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. How you get to heaven is what you believe in. We stand here, the Bible says, going all the world and preach the gospel. We do not preach a particular re a religion. We do not teach a science or education. Those are noy and void with God. You have got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. In any event that after you die of any hope you have of getting to God, get into heaven, by the words of Jesus Christ who said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You must Put your faith and belief in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God. You must put your finished work upon His work, the Gospel, the merit of Jesus Christ, the belief that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the Scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is your belief to believe that you will get to God and to heaven. And the belief is not what man has done. The belief is not what you can do. But your belief must rest upon the sure foundation of the solid rock appointed and approved by God, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. There is no other belief but that in Jesus Christ that you will have hope after death. And the Bible speaks about there is life after death. You do not go into an unconscious forever state according to God and His Word. According to the Bible, the wages of sin is death. And the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And this message is not preached in churches today. This message is by God to go out into the world and preach that gospel that is to be believed by your heart. That any access to God is the access through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no good that you can do to be approved of God when God says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. There is no righteousness that you have of your own when the Bible says there is none righteous. And the righteousness and the goodness that we need to get to God is to put our faith and our belief from our heart and not our head in the finished work in the merit of Jesus Christ. It is not of works. At least any man boasts. 
It is nothing that we can do to please God for salvation. It has been finished. It has been completed. And it has been satisfied by the finished work. And I keep saying the finished work because there's nothing to what we can add to the finished work. Because upon the cross of Jesus, the final words of Jesus Christ is, it is finished. The preservative for your eternal life is upon Jesus Christ. And any artificial preservatives called religion is not approved by God and ought not to be in your salvation ingredients. Your artificial preservatives of salvation will do your eternal life harm as much as artificial ingredients will do your body harm in your foods today. You've got to rest assured that your salvation must be in Jesus Christ. Whether you believe it or not, that is approved by God. Week after week, you hear Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that is the only access you have to God. There is no human being, male or female, that is able to have you be a plea appeased by God. Because all men are sinners. And if you are of sin, in which you are, and your priest, and your pastor, and your rabbi, being sinners, they cannot bring a sacrifice to God for you for a sinner, because their own sins have not been atoned. A born-again Bible-believing Christian I am, and believing on the finished work of Jesus Christ. I can do nothing to save your soul. All I can do is what God says is preach the gospel. All I can do is plant the seed of the gospel. All I can do is water that seed of the gospel. It is God that is able to save your soul. It is able of God to increase the seed. There is no man outside of Jesus Christ that can save you. There is no religion that is able to get you safely past the doors of death. Many of you are relying on a religion. Many of you are relying and hoping that what we preach is wrong. Many of you are believing in a religion that you don't even visit or practice. And that is a false hope. And there is hope after death. And death is sure. Death will come and you have no idea when it will not. And when it is your time, you will open that door to death. And you have better have visited 
and believe on Jesus Christ as your Savior before that door is open. When death comes knocking and that door is open, if there is no belief upon Jesus Christ and the gospel, that door will shut. You will enter into the gates of hell and you will not come back to get a do-over. Hell is not a quiet place like our public school systems. Hell is not a time out. Hell, according to John 3.16, is the wrath of God because you will not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Hell is because you have chosen to believe something else even if that something else is nothing at all. What you believe before you die will get you into eternity. Now, if you were to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be absent from the body and present with the Lord. If you choose to believe anything but Jesus Christ, you will die, you will be buried, and in hell you will lift up your eyes in torment. If you choose not to believe Jesus, believe it or not, you will be in a place called hell. Believing in a church and a religion is not satisfying to God. Mary's last commandment and last words in the Bible were, what my son saith, do it. And Jesus said, I am the way. He never said anything about Mary for salvation. He never said anything. But he himself who is God. Paul writes to Timothy and says there's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus and that is who you are to believe. I believe I go to church. According to the Bible, I believe you will go to hell if that's your salvation, if that is your faith. Being in church will not save your soul. I believe I joined the secret order. And I believe that you are defying the Word of God. And you will end up in hell. I believe in nothing at all. And one day your eyes will face the God that you did not believe in. And according to the Scriptures, I believe you'll be cast off in a lake of fire that burns forever. You see, my belief is not my belief at all. It is the Holy Scriptures, the King James Bible, what God has said through the Holy Spirit. And God leaves no room for a religion or education. And if you're going to believe everything but Jesus, the words of Jesus is, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Why? Because you chose not to know Jesus. You have chosen not to believe Jesus. What 
what you believe, what you put your faith, will settle your account when you die. If you want to believe in unity, in the great powering of man, get everybody together, that will happen. In a place called hell and into the lake of fire. All those that in unification of going against Jesus Christ will burn in a lake of fire forever. There's your unity. There will be no songs. There will be no partying. There will be no friendship. There will be no refreshment if you choose to reject and believe not Jesus Christ. If you were to believe on a religion and choose any religion, there are a dime a dozen plus shipping and handling. You can get yourself a rabbi. You can get yourself a priest. You can get a preacher. You can get a preacherette. You can get a reverend. You can get a man of God. But if you do not have the Son of God, if you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, depart from me, workers of iniquity, iniquity out of the mouth of Jesus, I never knew you, because you would not believe in Him. If you do not believe on Jesus, Jesus will not know you. If you do not believe on Jesus, you will be in iniquity. That is to be in your sins. The Lamb of God has not cleansed your sins. And you will die and end up in eternity, the lake of fire that burneth forever. We be here because God says, Go ye on all the world, and preach the gospel. Nowhere does it say for us to go have a vanity fair. Nowhere in the Bible does it say have programs. It says the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the Scriptures, and you are to put your faith and your belief in that, the merit of Jesus Christ. There is nothing else approved. Religion and science is man-made, and yet Jesus Christ is God-approved. Though the wages of sin be death, and death will come. But the gift of God's eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And he that has the Son, has everlasting life. But he that has not the Son, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Whosoever believeth on Him has eternal life. Whosoever was not found written in the book of life, the Lamb's book of life, was cast off into the lake of fire. Salvation rests upon who you believe and who you do not believe. 
And if you do not believe in God and the Son, Jesus Christ, you are not safe, and you have no hope. There is nothing assured outside the merits and works of Jesus. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And that eternal life is in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. God is not satisfied with what you think. God is not satisfied with what you care. When you go beyond and above and over the finished work of Jesus. If it's not in Jesus Christ, you are hopeless. And you are in iniquity. And you will die. And you will go to hell. If you're to believe on Jesus, you will die. And you'll be pre you will be absent from the body the afterlife, life after death, and you will be with the Lord. You will be with God and Jesus Christ by God and Jesus Christ alone. And when I quote that scripture to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord, the scripture says, I am assured You are not assured in your religion. You are not assured in science. You are for sure not assured in atheism. Life is not good without Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Why will you make God a liar when you say, This can save my soul when it's not Jesus? And the Bible says to believe on Jesus to be saved. And you will do anything but believing on Jesus and making God a liar. It's plain and simple. I can spend 45 minutes and just preach three words and only three words for 45 minutes. Only Jesus saves. I said, only Jesus saves. I did not say church. I did not say education. I did not say what you think. I did not quote from your textbook. But from the Bible, only Jesus saves. Your access to God is by the one that said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me.
And when Jesus said, I am, oh, did that get the Jews angry? And it ought to get the Jehovah Witnesses angry too. Because when Jesus said, I am, God Jehovah spoke to Moses as far as the name of God, you go back and tell him, I am that I am. And Jesus, who is God, said, I am the water of life. I am the bread of life. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the light. I am the Lamb. I am the Son of God. I am the Messiah. Jesus said, I am God and I am your source of your food, of your water, of your life, of your ascension. And if you don't have Jesus as the I am, when you stand before God, you will not. And you will hear Jesus, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Now, only God can say that. And if your religion does not proclaim God as Jesus, and Jesus as God, You are not in right with God. You have a misunderstanding of the I am. You have believed noy and void of what God said to believe. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Well, preacher, I believe something else. Well, then you have replaced Jesus with something else and you're not going to be saved. You're going to be rejected. You're going to be an outcast. Because you have not believed on the only begotten Son of God. You have not put your faith in Jesus. You have believed in someone or something else other than what God has told you to believe. And that belief is in Jesus. And Jesus alone. There is no foundational belief for that of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. You can't come to God with works. The Bible says none doeth good. Not of works. At least any man boasts. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. Whosoever believes on Him. Believing in anything else but Jesus. When you die... You have no hope. The only hope after death is in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And if you die without Jesus Christ, do not put R.I.P. 
You don't want R.I.P. because you will not rest in peace without Jesus Christ. You want T.F.E. tormented forever. Eternal life is in Jesus. Damnation. Condemnation. Torment. Is in anything but Jesus. Jesus is that of God. He's not to be a cuss. Thank you very much. Thank you. How accomplishment is that not to believe upon Jesus? Hell is full of Christ rejecting fools. The fool has said in his heart, there's no God. I got Mary, that's not a God. Mary is not the God. Matter of fact, you would call her goddess. Religion. Religion are not the way. Science is not the truth. Education is not the way. The way, the truth, and the light is through Jesus Christ alone. <laughs> to be safe after death is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. It's to preach for you to be saved by Jesus Christ. Put your hope and faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone. 